Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to install fonts on a Windows PC or a Mac computer. All right, let's get started. All right, now first I'm going to head over to my favorite font store, which is Font Bundles, but this will really work for any place that you download your fonts. And there's a certain font out here called Ochre that I really love, so we'll search for that. All right, and here it is right here. So I'm going to click on it, and you can just add it to your cart here. Now I've actually already purchased this, so I'm going to come up to my account and just go to purchases. And here it is. Now I'll come over here to the right and I'll download the files. With this font, we have two options. We've got Ochre Shiny and Ochre Solid. We could definitely download both, but I'm just going to stick to Ochre Shiny for now. So I'll click that one. When I do that, Chrome shows it as the download right down here in the bottom left. If you're using another browser, it will probably be in a different place. So let's click on this carrot and then I'll choose show in finder. And that'll bring me to my downloads. Now, most of the time your font will come in as an OTF, but sometimes it might be a zip file. If that's the case, if you're on a Mac, just double click the zip file and it'll unzip and create a new folder. That folder will have the OTF or TTF font inside. If you're on a PC, you'll want to right click and choose extract all, and you'll get the same result. Another little folder that has the OTF file inside or TTF. Okay. So let's navigate to our OTF. Now, if you're on a Mac, all you have to do is double click to install this. And then you can just come down here to the bottom right and choose install font. If you're on a PC, you'll want to double click it and choose install in the window that pops open. You'll know your font is installed because the install icon will be grayed out and you won't be able to click on it anymore. Another way to check on PC is to go to fonts and type the name of the font and then it'll show up if it's been installed correctly. All right, so now you can go out to Illustrator or Word or any program that supports fonts like Silhouette Studio, Cricut Design Space, etc. And you can use that font and just search for it in your fonts list. And that's it. Now you can use your new font in all your projects. All right, if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it, and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.